Filling, and it's also happening in the outlying cities in Polk County. Nonprofits are seeing more children now without homes. In our ongoing Price of Paradise series, tonight we highlight the stories where the high cost of living is doing the most damage. Michael Paluska explaining how local leaders are now teaming up to lift up families in need. There are a lot of families struggling, especially in rural parts of Polk County. We're learning there's a lot of resources out there, but the need is getting even greater, especially for students that are experiencing homelessness. We're told that it is happening in some areas at an alarming rate. We are about 800 students ahead of the pace two years ago and up 400 from last year. And Ben Roosh, the homeless liaison for the nonprofit Hearth, knows it will go even higher. If we have a student that moves, which we have had, um, students that have moved seven, eight times in two months, all of those addresses zoned for different schools, we help keep them at that original school, that school of origin, and get busing set up through the district so that these students can have that continuity and they're not having to, to constantly switch schools every time they move. Last year we did a little over 4,000 family, um, students and, and parents. Yeah. So this year we're already at over 6,000. Ashley Dukes works closely with Roosh. As the coordinator for TASSEL, her nonprofit is also seeing needs for everything. Clothes, toiletries, shoes and toys to make kids, well, feel like kids. That keeps me going because it's like I made a difference. Even if it was one family that one day, I made a difference, and that's where I started as a social worker. I wanted to make a difference. Hearth and Tassel work with Polk County Schools to make sure that no family falls through the cracks. Some of them are in really awful situations financially. How hard is that for you? It's hard to see it and know that our world, our economy, everything has gotten that way because it's not just the homeless anymore. It's gone up to where we've even helped teachers. You know, maybe something's happened in their family, crisis. Tassel volunteer turned employee Debbie Wright loves her new job. That makes you, at the end of the day, go, wow, you know, and it, it keeps you coming back tomorrow, wanting to do it even more. Where else can we help them? I think the need in our area speaks for itself. You know, one in four kids are going hungry, yeah. and that's something everybody can get behind. Clarissa Rain with Feeding Tampa Bay helped get food into Tassel. Their school pantry program launched years ago with only eight locations, but today they have 75 plus. Are you seeing food insecurity more and more in rural areas, not just in Polk? We are seeing a lot of food security in rural areas throughout our service area. And we're seeing a lot of that also being impacted by the continual cost of inflation of food um, and also some of the pandemic and disaster supports that came through Florida that are now ending um, as we move away from those events. Now, if you can help and you want to, the best thing you can do is to donate. That could be food, it could be cash, it could be clothes. We've put all of the information to the nonprofits we profiled on our website, abcactionnews.com. In the studio, Michael Paluska, ABC Action News.